All right, so you guys are going to be building the test bed, which I'm going to try to show you the best pictures that I can. Um, I'll have a couple pictures on canvas as well for you, but I want to show you a couple key points here. Uh, big thing is that one side is big to small, and one side is small to big. If you look here, we've got a bearing fly, or a shaft collar on the inside here and one on the outside. What that does is keeps this gear from moving back and forth. Some key points. When you put these uh, bearing flats in, it's usually a little bit easier if um, you kind of line up here and know where you're going to put your motor first and just lightly put these motor screws in. Do notice those motor screws are the gold motor screws. Okay, those are because they're using the motors. If you put them in loosely, put your bearing flats on, but don't put the push rivets through just yet. Put the drive shaft into the motor, get it fully secured, tighten this set screw to where now it won't pull out of the motor, tighten these two screws, then put all your push rivets in. Because these drive shafts have a hard time getting into the motor when they're fully tightened. So if you actually keep these loose, put the drive shaft in, tighten up the motor screws, tighten up the shaft collar, everything work a little bit better. Then the other gear should be pretty simple to figure out. The other things you're going to put on, you're going to put on a line follower somewhere up here at the top. Limit switch, doesn't really matter where it goes, just as long as it's somewhere that's going to stay out of the way of the motors. And a bump switch. Okay. Our Cortex here, you only really need two screws, one on each side. Or really just one on both sides. As long as you have two, it'll keep it from rotating back and forth. Zoom in here. Pay close attention here. We're going to have our left motor, when you're looking at it, should be plugged into port 10. Notice motor is on the side closest to me. And we're going to have the right motor plugged into port 1. It's really important to notice here. These metal prongs will break off very easily if you force them. All you have to do, red wire towards the center, go over the cortex right where you're wanting to put it right there in, into uh, port 1 and just gently push down. If it doesn't go in gently, you've got something wrong. Wait to plug them in until tomorrow. Okay? The other thing. We've got our um, switches here, which aren't plugged in quite right, so I'm going to go ahead and redo these. Our line follower, which is the um, one that looks like this here. The line follower is an analog switch. So if I go back here, here's my analogs. It's going to get plugged in to port 1, white wire towards the middle. Again, it should just slide in there very easily. Like so. We're going to put the bump switch, which is the one that looks like that. It's going to get plugged in, white wire towards the center, into digital one. So notice there, that's digital one. And then our limit switch will get plugged in to digital two. Okay. Once everything's back and secure here, we've got everything in. Then, when everything has been built like this, everything's secured, nothing's going to come off. This motor needs to be tightened up a little. Um, so I'm going to go in there kind of an angle here. I might be able to tighten it up just a little bit more. Okay, take a little bit of, the, of it out there. The orange cord. Take the orange cord, fold it up nicely. Okay, I can tuck right in here. Okay, so it's stored well. Then you have some twisty ties in your bin or in the little bin. Go ahead and kind of twisty tie these out of the way, but do make sure you leave room to plug in the battery, which goes right here. You've got to be able to leave room to plug in the battery. Otherwise, you're going to have to be moving stuff. Okay? 
So that's what we want to try to get as much done today as you can. Um, whatever's not done, we'll work on later in the week. Uh, if you get it all done, put it back in your box, put it up. If you don't get it quite done, put what you do have done back in the box and we'll finish it up um, later in the week.